Hi everybody, Don here. Well, yesterday I got the package from One How, and uh, you know, of course, it's already open. Parts already in. <laughs> the video I made yesterday, 43 minutes long, with me putting that thing in and getting it all set up and everything. And there was no sound. Yeah, super. And with that Coral X9 Studio that I have, well, I can't figure that out. There's, for some reason, I can't take the video and uh, do a extra soundtrack and just talk through the video, you know? I don't know what. <laughs> I have to figure that out sometime or another. But anyway. I got the package yesterday, and that was more like um, that UPS alert. Yeah, either you pay or I'm going to go and take the package with me. That's how it was. I said, say what? Yeah, you have to pay um, $34.50 in uh, custom and taxes. I said, wait a minute now. There are repair parts in there coming from one how. That's not my problem that they forgot to declare this as repair parts under guarantee. Well, you're going to have to contact one how and tell them that they're going to have to repay you for the tax. I was saying, oh man, that can't be true. You know, only a little bit of money in my pocket. And 90% of it had to go to this driver. Yeah, but anyway, uh, just to give you an idea, the package was like this, and when I opened it up, there was the cable in there, the VL touch with the splitter board. This is the old one. This is also the old one. And there's the board in there. And when you look at this, I mean, this is really amazing, you know? Uh, loop sealed bag. You open that. I mean, this is, looks like something that, okay, you might put electronic parts into. But then the board is in a bubble wrap. And I mean, that's something that you definitely do not put electronics into. I don't know what they were thinking there. I would have put this in that bag and then wrapped the bag with bubble wrap, yes. But the board, this is the old board, but i got to show you something on that one too. Uh, that was, the new board was, in, was like this. But thank God nothing happened. It's in there. It's working. Yeah, almost. I'll explain that in a minute too. But, uh... I gotta show you something on this board. I did notice that when I was when I you know I had the I had already had the printer laying on its side, the bottom opened up. This card was already unmounted, uh, like this. It was already unmounted, but all the cables were still sticking in it. So that all I had to do is just mount the new board and then take the cables one to one and put them into the new one so that I did not make any mistakes. Yeah, but there was one mistake. No idea why. I did get an email today with a new uh, update for the machine because uh, yesterday when I tried to turn it on, homing, well, the home position, the home position for the bed is back there. Yeah. But when I tried to home, it was going like this, and then ratter, 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 you know? That nice sound that you get when the motor is still turning, the threads are jumping through. <laughs> yeah, I turned, it off. I turned it off real quick, you know? Then uh, I sent an email to one how last yesterday evening, thank God. Manolo answered me and sent me a uh, a new update for the board, 
So I had to install Cura on my PC because that's the shortest way with the USB cable to it. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> uh, got new uh, update on the board. Okay, everything's fine to a point. But um, yeah, I'm waiting for the next answer. Because now, when I do a bed leveling, when the head, when the bed comes all the way up to the front to do the last row, well, the BL touch is just outside of the bed. And you know what that means when the print head is coming down and wants to stop in accordance with the BL touch signal? <laughs> and the BL touch can't press anything? Well, you know what happens there. Yeah, but anyway, um, when I was closing the bottom back up, I was thinking, oh, wait a minute, uh, what the hell's going on here? You know, I tried to push it on, and uh, it wouldn't close correctly. And right now, right now, I can tell you, the bed is not closed all the way. I can put my finger right in there. Because... You can see right here, you see the plastic here, yeah, you see the plastic here. Where's the plastic here? There's no plastic there because it's cut off. Yeah, this is the old board. And, uh, well, I started trimming up after I found out that the fan is sitting right there. You know, and slamming against this plastic, so you can't, you can't close it. The fan is in the wrong position on that on the metal on that bed. The fan is sitting right here. Okay, should be a little bit more to the right, so that it can cool the drivers here. But it's sitting right here, as if it's going to try and cool. These two, this driver and, uh, and this processor here, or whatever, you know, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, yeah. But anyway, I cut off a little bit of the plastic, and I was trying to uh, put the bed back on, but um, you know, if I was cut the plastic all the way down to the point to where that plate will go back on clean again, well. You know, that's a metal bed, uh, uh, that's a metal plate, plastic fan, but there's metal screws going into the corners. And it just happens that in the one corner, the metal screw would be right in this area, right in this area here. And then, uh, yeah, okay, uh, that's for the heat bed. And then, you know, that screw is going to be making a short. No thanks. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that back up again later on today. And then I'm going to take some tape, put it over the screws couple of layers of tape and then I'm gonna try and screw that bit the, uh, the the plate back on you know so that uh, it's halfway closed but not making any short on, the, on that yeah yeah and then well um, yeah the new cable, BL touch, and the splitter board that you need. Yeah, yeah, you need the new splitter board for the BL touch. And ah, you know they send it. And uh, let me see now. Let me turn off this light and see if that'll help out a little bit. And 
Let me zoom in over there. So that maybe you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, there you have. Here you here you have a special mount. They sent that with the BL Touch. But in order to hold the mount on, well, you gotta use the old sensor. And here it is right here. It's not it's not plugged in anymore, but you have to use it to uh, to tighten down the BL touch here, which is, I don't know, they could have just maybe printed a screw or something like that, you know, that's big enough with right threads so that you just screw down a plastic screw into there. And that's something that I'm going to try out. Infusion, there's enough screws in there that you can automatically download. See if I can get something like that going. I don't know. Or maybe somebody out there can do that for me and then send me an STL. Just has to have the same diameter and the same thread as the no normal sensor. I mean, if somebody there out there can do that, because I'm not that good in fusion yet, but. Uh, my email address is down below in the description. You send me that STL file then. That would be super, you know, if you could do it, if somebody could do that for me. You know, I don't know if Jimmy's going to be watching this. Uh, Jimmy, <laughs> I know you can do a good job in Fusion, as you said yesterday. But, um, yeah. And anyway, right now, uh, what you see right here, this green, that's the Marmo Robot plate. <laughs> I've had that for, oh God, I'm ashamed to say it. Uh, but if I check my emails, I can tell you, I've had... Uh, I've had that for several months now. They're waiting for me to do a review on it, but uh, yeah. I was busy with um, trying to get a new electro scooter, and then I was sick for a while, and then, oh man, you know, everything just came together. <sighs> then, come to find out, I need that BL touch and everything. Uh, took me a while to get the money together so that I could buy that and get it sent to me. Yeah, you know, uh, the BO Touch, the splitter board, and the cable, 55 US dollars. You know? And then if I would have ordered that separately, there would have been another $25 on postage. But because I had to order a new board. Well, that was $73, including $25 for the postage. And then I told them, wait a minute, I got, I got a little bit of money from the eBay selling coming in before you send me the board. And then I'll send you the, the $55 and send me that splitter board, the BL Touch, and the cable. Yeah, the cable. Oh, well, that's the best thing about it, you know? <laughs> you have the flat cable on the printer. That's already on there, you know. But they're saying, oh no, that won't work. You need the new cable. And the best part about that, ah, uh, one second, let me zoom in again. I gotta show you that. Uh, which side is it on? It's on this side, okay. Turn it over this way a little bit. Now it's a black round cable. Yeah? And everything's going okay up to here. But then, I was thinking, wait a minute. Okay. 
how am I going to get that with that fat plug in through this area here so that it looks a little bit clean? Yeah? <laughs> well, there's only one screw on the back that I had to unscrew, and then the gantry from the X, I could pull it out a little bit. And I pulled that out, laid the cable on the back side, screwed that back together, and just put the cable up and around, and it's come down and locks in on the print head up on top. But, uh, you know, okay, it might look a little bit better, but I don't understand what there is supposed to be for a difference between that and the flat cable, the flat band cable that was already on it, you know. But, you know. Yeah, and anyway, um, <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Got the Mama Robot plate on it. Be able to touch. Splitter board, cable, the new the new main boards in there. Oh, yes, and the best part when I um, where's the SD card? Okay. okay, where are you now? One second. I gotta look I gotta look for an SD card. <laughs> And there it is. And pull this one out again. Okay. You know when you put in eh, when you put an SD card in, you hear this. Yeah? And yeah, take a look at this. I push it in, it comes back out. Push it in. It's supposed to stay at about this position so that the contacts are made inside, yeah? <laughs> no way. But I can put it in here, click, and it's staying in there. So that means I can print again. Well, <laughs> a question of FOIA to you know. It's if I can print and uh, let's say let's say everything goes good, you know. But one thing that's really strange right now, and I'm waiting for an answer from Manolo about that problem with the uh, Deal touch going outside of the bed by bed leveling. And it's a 16 point bed leveling, four rows with four points. And the back, and it can't even do the back row because the deal touch is hanging outside. So I have to wait for an answer. Who knows? It might send me another. Another file that I have to use to update the bed that might uh, correct that. I don't know. I mean, okay. I'm a user, I'm not a programmer. <laughs> but as um, soon as that problem is fixed, I can start doing some printing again. I've already got uh, the next printed file on there that's got to be printed. Or a, a good girlfriend who wants uh, Thor's hammer, Captain America's shield, and then a few other things, all printed with, um, with supposedly clear PLA. But it's a little bit milky when it, when it's printed, you know. But that's okay. That's just right because if she wants that and then she's doing she's gonna put uh, LED lighting in it mounted on the wall paint on the wall the cracks and everything that you can see and uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah you know if it looks cool why not 
But anyway, uh, yeah. Hmm. Month of December. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Hope I can get through this month without any problems. But um, showed you in the last video. Yeah. Canon EOS 600 so that I can do videos with this one. Had power grip with it, three batteries. All I had to do is just put an SD card in there. Uh, right now, 32 gigabyte, but uh, I got a 64 gigabyte, or no, a 128 gigabyte card coming on its way. Got it for something like 10 euros or something like that. This costed me 106 euros, inclu including postage. Uh, that was only for the grip in the body, because I already have Canon lenses. My uh, D400, or my 400D digital, you know, that I have that can't make videos. Well, I'm selling that one then in eBay. Hopefully I get that one sold. Get my get some money so that I can get through this month because right now I am a little bit short and the month is long. But oh, yeah, and as you can see, before I forget, it, yeah, no shave November, and yesterday was mustache Monday. But this is staying on. I'm not going to take this one down. No, no, no. I can't do that because then I'm going to look like a young child instead of like a grown man. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but anyway. That's it for now. I'd have to say, y'all take care. Until next time. And you can be sure that there will be some more videos coming up before the year's end. <laughs> and uh, as soon as I figure this out doing a live stream, well, who knows, might go live a couple of times too before the year's end. But uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, in the description you'll see, go buy me a copy, my PayPal, everything that comes in goes to the channel, order, or in this month to help me come through the month. But anyway, everybody take care. Bye.